Hello, I'm Megan, and welcome to Obscura Music Reviews, bringing you closer to the unknown. So, I haven't really been excited for any music coming out this year. I didn't have any new albums on my list of things to buy. Tons of old stuff, but no new stuff. That is, until I saw that an artist I had been following was releasing her first album in June. That artist was Kai Altair. subject for me because at first I hated her music. It took me a long time to warm up to the few singles she had put out. I kept coming back though, so I guess something took hold of me. Kai released her first album, Dreamwalker, on June 23rd and honestly, given her small fan base, I was probably the first one to buy it. I was sitting there waiting for the album to come online. And boy, I was not disappointed. This is the best album I've heard in a while. It sealed the deal for me liking, n no, loving. Kai's music. Let's start out with Draw Down the Moon. This song beckons a calm to start off the album, relaxing you and preparing you for the adventure to come. Kai often talks about this album as being a journey to experience and less of an album to listen to. I refuse to listen to this album on shuffle for that reason. Draw Down the Moon creates the setting, and the other songs are the characters, the plot, the resolution. My love we have tonight. If you want to call me home, if you want to see my eyes, if you want Shadow Dance is the song that kept bringing me back to Kai Altair's music. When it first came out, I loved it and was determined to get into her other stuff, but couldn't before this album came out. I love how infectious this track is. It makes you want to move, get up and dance. In the eaves of the trees in the witching hell Comes a breeze from the lights in the sky And the sound on the ground is what gives it power Through the mouth and the heart and the eye It's obvious by now, Kai is very inspired by New Age ideologies, among other things. It shows in her music, but doesn't distract from it. This is something you can experience throughout the whole album, including the song Mama Ocean. It's a very simple song, structure-wise, but that can be very effective sometimes, and it's very effective here. I don't know where to go, oh. 
album is Change, and it is my favorite. It was used in a short film that Kai performed in called Dreams of the Last Butterflies, and has won many awards for best original song at various film festivals. I bought a version of the Dreamwalker album from Kai's shop that had the short film as a bonus download, and it is very dynamic and beautiful. It can now be found on Vimeo, so I'll post a link in the description. I really suggest you take the time to watch it. For now, here's the clip where the song was used. See shadows of the rising sun Read the patterns in the sky perfect song for a space opera. Just perfect. Don't fight me on this. I can see it working for something like Interstellar or basically any sci-fi TV series created before the turn of the 21st century. You know, like Babylon 5, Battlestar Galactica, Farscape, etc. It's a nice break from the down-to-earth lyrics of the other songs on the album, taking us to worlds beyond our own. My second favorite song on the album is Big Cat. 
Before writing this review, I looked at a lot of other reviews of Dreamwalker, and it was odd that all the ones I saw skipped over even mentioning Big Cat, let alone talking about it. It's by far the most intense and empowering song on the album. Drums and an awesome bass line make the song seem predatory. Come for you, you can't hide. Left the door loose, I'm inside. You can run away, you can cry. I will find you each and every time. mostly instrumental, but it's a really awesome example of Kai's musical style. Heavily laced with an Egyptian theme, this song puts you in another place, another time. Honestly, I think it's too short. I could listen to this for at least another three minutes on top of its already three minute length. My third favorite song on the album is She Holds Me. The violin in this piece is by Hana, a violinist, and just makes the song. This song wouldn't be half as good without her contribution. I'm so glad Kai included her on some of the songs. She Holds Me returns us to the new age ideas at the beginning of the album and is probably the most somber song, but still stays positive. She came, she came for the honey and the land. Through the dim and the reach, through the clatter and the pain, she came and she bloodied both her hands. There are ways to be free when you have to die. There are ways to the sea from across. Breast. She holds me. 
Falling was Kai's first music video for this album, and while I feel it could use some improvements, it's still a song that can stand alone. I love how energized it gets as it goes on. Not to mention, Kai looks fabulous in the music video. Day is actually my least favorite song on the album, but I don't hate it. I just skip it a lot of the time. I think it's the first lyrics that throw me off. Oh, you don't want to go, then you do, then you don't, rhymes a little bit too much for me. But the rest of the song is great. It encourages a new age revolution, a revolution of new ideas and an open mind. Oh, you don't want to go, then you do. Then you don't But you know you're only halfway home You don't want to lose your way Be alone There's a revolution 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 in the air. And it's not like they said And it's not in your head It's something that can't be said If you go track, Curiosity, shows off the best of Kai's voice training. It sounds like a haunting and mystical lullaby. It's a strong end to an amazing album. Over and under and 
Dreamwalker blew me away, and I'm so glad I bought it. I can't believe I was so turned off to Kai's Altair's music before. I totally regret it because now I can listen to her old singles with pleasure. I usually get tired of new albums within a month, but I have a feeling I'll be listening to Dreamwalker for at least a year, straight. I'm hoping Kai releases more music soon. She has a beautiful voice and a unique style.